let's just get this out of the way up front. During your life, there are going to be people that don't like you. I know it's an uncomfortable thought, but it's going to happen. It happens to everyone. It happened to Nelson Mandela and Martin Luther King and Gandhi. It's going to happen to you. But what if that wasn't a big deal? Now, I know some of you want to argue with me already and say, no, no, no. I'm really good at getting people to like me. I'm amazing. Why wouldn't they like me? You are amazing. And sometimes people still won't like you. But what if it had nothing to do with you? Guess what? It doesn't. If somebody doesn't like you, it only has to do with what's going on for them in their head. Now, I know some of you don't believe me, so let's think about this in a less personal way. What is your favorite fruit? Now, as you think of your favorite fruit, everyone's probably thinking of something different. Somebody's thinking of ripe and juicy strawberries or peaches, and some people are thinking of bananas, and some people are thinking tomatoes because that's just the kind of smart aleck you are. And I can totally respect that, so that's fine. I got you tomato people. So think of your favorite fruit. Let's say mine is a strawberry. Now, just because I love strawberries, does that mean that everyone loves strawberries? No, of course not. Some people hate strawberries, right? They're just not strawberry people. And of course they have their reasons. Maybe the flavor reminds them of something that made them sick when they were younger, or they don't like the texture, or they think the seeds on the outside are really weird. Whatever their reasons, they just don't like strawberries, and that's okay. Am I upset that they don't like strawberries? No, I might be surprised. I might even offer them a really good strawberry and ask them, are you sure? Because this one is really ripe and sweet and delicious. You should try this one. But no matter how good the strawberry is, it could be the best strawberry in the world and somebody will still not like it. They just don't like strawberries. And I might think something like, you know what? They're lost but I won't think it's the end of the world that this person doesn't like strawberries. I won't start to question strawberries in general and think maybe they're not that great after all and maybe I should like peaches instead. I won't think there's something wrong with that strawberry just because the other person didn't like it. I also won't dress the strawberry up like a peach to try and get somebody else to eat it. But this is exactly what we do with ourselves. You're a strawberry, and not everyone likes strawberries, and that's okay. It's not the end of the world. It doesn't mean that you've done things wrong. It doesn't mean you have to change yourself and dress yourself up like a peach to make people like you. It doesn't mean that you're any less amazing. You're just not for everyone. That doesn't mean that you can't improve on your strawberryness, right? You still get to try and be the best and most authentic you that you can be. Not because you want people to like you, just because you're a strawberry. So why not be the best strawberry you can be? And then guess what? The people that love strawberries will come to you. So in your life, there will be people that don't like you. In fact, the more you're fulfilling your life's mission and showing up in a big way, the more people there will be that don't like you. But you don't have to take it personally. It's okay, they're just not strawberry people. Just keep working on being the best you that you can be. And that's how your people, the strawberry people, will be able to recognize you and find you. You are amazing. There are people in this world that will love you. And more importantly, I want you to love you too. Love you. And when somebody doesn't like you, let that go. You have so much to do in this life. You don't have time to worry about what other people are thinking about. It's none of our business. Let it go and go out there and do the great things you were meant to do. You've got this.